Hello YouTubers, how are you today? Engineers HubSpot with Dean Fowl and we are doing a new video and in this video we're going to be talking about offline press break, programming and bending software. So um, hold on to your seats and if you're new to the channel like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, that way you'll see some new videos from me. We cover a lot of different videos. Um, Anything to do with manufacturing and CAD team, right? Um, as you know, I work for Hexagon Production Software and I represent the Radan products. So, um, and I'm not getting paid to say that in my video, but that's who I am, okay? So, here we are in Autodesk, and as designers, we like to design our parts and it's nice to have some offline bending software to take this stuff into to bend it up send it to the machine we know it's working everything's good and hey hey presto right so I'm going to start a sketch here and go into top view uh, scroll out here whoops sorry fit to zoom I'm going to do a rectangle in Autodesk you've got all your rectangles how you want to do it slots polygons I'm going to do a two-point center. That seems to be uh, where you start most of the time, right? So I'm going to do 0.5. And then I'm going to go over here, 5. And we'll fit that into the screen. Right. And we're going to hit finish sketch. So that's, that's my um, drawing there. Convert to sheet metal, and we're going to face this. All right, uh, uh, uh. apply. Okay, so now we've got a little base flange or face we can work off, and how we can add some flanges. All right, so here you can decide how you want to work all this stuff here. I'm just going to push mine out. And we're going to go uh, 0.625, right? Probably a big radius there, but that's fine. It'll it'll work for us. Um, I'll come down here, add another one. Uh, what we'll do is we'll flip the direction, and we'll probably go a little bit higher on this one, 2.5. Yeah. Hit apply. Okay. Right, so here's my file, ready to go. I haven't got anything special on this. This is just to show you. Um, whoops. This is just to show you, right, what we've got, how we can do it. So now I've got this. So the good thing, and I like about Rad Bend, is I've got a direct link from Autodesk into the bending software. This will work for SolidWorks as well. So here I can launch the bending software. All right, so we'll hit Rad Bend. Oops, I gotta create flat pattern first, sorry. Create the flat pattern and then it creates flat pattern. I really think that should be automated, but all good. Go to folded part. Now we should be able to pass that into Rad Bend. Okay, so Radbin's going to launch here, and then we can select our machines we want to work with. There we go, Radbin's coming up right now. So we can definitely come back in here and you can see here's my part here I can now select my machine so here I'm just going to select my hexagon press break you can see I've got a couple of bends um, here I didn't pass through material but I can select material and we'll do steel but okay this here is because I'm not using any preferred tools um, profiles so you can set up preferred tools for specific materials and stuff like that. But I'm not using that at the moment. And then we're just going to hit automatic. It's determining the clusters of the tools and the finger stop positions. And you can see here, 
I can rotate this around. Here's our fingers, looking good. And then you can scroll through, right? And then from here, you notice I hit automatic. I skip all that and just hit simulation. I just want to see how it plays out on the press brake. And boom, no problems, no errors, and I can create a program by compiling, send the program, and then once you've compiled, you can actually update, right? So if I was to go close this down, no, I'm not going to save changes, but if I was to close this down, um, you can then update the metadata inside here, right? So that's another video for you. There'll be another video and I'll go through a lot more of a complicated part, okay? But this is just to get you started and see, all right? Thanks for watching. Like I said, like and subscribe and leave any comments below and we'll get back to you with any questions in the next video. Cheers.